Welcome to my study table. Today I'll be talking about the pestle analysis, a very important tool to analyze an organization's external environment. Pestle helps organizations list the environmental influences that could affect them and also helps understand the implications of each of these influences. Companies looking to enter new markets as well as companies reviewing the current environment could use the pestle analysis to get a strategic direction. The uh, business environment is divided into six related subsystems, them being political, economic, social, technology, ecology or environmental and legal environment. Let's go through each of these factors to understand how they uh, affect or how they influence the operations of a business and how businesses make strategies according to the dynamic environment in which they operate in. Beginning with political. So political um, environment, they have a deep impact on the workings of the organization. So the factors that are usually studied under this or analyzed under this are trade regulations, price controls, taxation policy and employment laws. Now this actually explains all these factors uh, explain how the political system and government policy affects the organization. Moving on to the economic environmental analysis. Now here the macroeconomic factors that are usually analyzed um, could be macroeconomic policies of the government, business cycles that is the stage in which the uh, company and the industry are currently in, the rates which is growth, interest and inflation rates, economic stability etc to understand what the current situation of the economy is, thereby enabling companies to strategize effectively. Now, what questions are answered under the economy analysis is, what are the different macroeconomic policies and their objectives? What are the main determinants of the level of business activity in the economy? and how these variations in the levels of the activity affect the household, the individual as well as the business. Also the impact of economic issues on the uh, individual, the household and the businesses. Moving on to the social factors. Now here what is explained is the medium and the long term effects of social and demographic trends on the business outcomes as well as the economy. Now it describes the impact of changes in the social structure, values, tastes and attitudes on the organization. So therefore what are the factors that are usually studied under this are the social framework, market size and consumerism, socio-cultural setup, income distribution amongst others. Moving on to the technology factors. Now here uh, it explains the effects of technological changes on the organization structure as well as the organization strategy. So the factors that are usually studied under this are the extent of usage of technology in operations of an organization, the, uh, the types of products made or the quality of the products which are made because of improvised technology and so on. Under ecology what is studied are the environmental factors. So the ways in which the businesses can affect or be affected by its physical environment. So uh, the factors that are usually studied under this are environmental policies, the climate change, waste management, etc. This helps identify the benefits of economic sustainability to the stakeholders of the organization. 
so it describes the ways in which businesses can operate much more effectively and uh, efficiently to reduce the damage on the environment finally coming to the legal environment which usually talks about the consumer laws health and safety laws laws related to competition employment laws so all of these they actually talk about the way in which how uh, law promotes and protects health and safety in a workplace it also um, outlines the principles of consumer protection it explains how the uh, you know what the sources of legal authority is and how law protects the employee and the uh, implications of employment legislations etc therefore let's see what are the questions that the pestel analysis can help answer the first one is the current and potential business environment the pestel analysis can also help the organization understand the demand and profit possibilities demographic status technology levels enabling future growth sustainability issues and possibilities and finally the legal status which includes possible hindrances and efficacy of the legal system the pestel analysis helps answer if the market is good to enter and thrive in or not hope you found this video informative you could go through my channel to learn more concepts on finance strategy management marketing and skill improvement here's to happy learning now and always